What is meant by dry boiling point and wet boiling point when referring to brake fluid? G'day, I'm Matt from KCK Lubricants and today I'm going to do a quick video on what is meant by dry and wet boiling point in regards to brake fluid. Before we get into this, what we do need to know is the dot specification. So you'll see on your brake fluid bottle or in the cap of your brake fluid reservoir, dot three, dot four, dot five, dot five point one. This is all referring to the dot specification. So that's the US Department of Transport has set the industry standard. When we talk about the boiling point of the brake fluid, that's its technical name, equilibrium reflux boiling point, ERBP. So this is generally a wet or a dry, depending on which test is being done. When the brake fluid is tested dry, that is when the brake fluid is brand new. The bottle is opened and tested immediately before there's any uh, contamination or moisture introduced into that. So that's your dry boiling point when the brake fluid is brand new. The wet boiling point, the test sample will be allowed to sit in the environment until it has reached a moisture contamination of 3.7%, and this is by weight. So the brand new brake fluid is now being contaminated by moisture to 3.7%, and then it is retested. And this is the lower boiling point, and that's referred to as the wet boiling point. Now this is um, a, a, a good middle of the park um, contamination range. Down here you'll look as typical contamination for dot three brake fluid, brake fluid in service, three to three and a half percent. If you go to a dot four, it jumps up to four and a half to six percent. A dot four will always attract more moisture than a dot three. Now we'll go into that in the next couple of videos, but that gives you a breakdown of dry boiling point, which is brand new fluid, and wet boiling point, which is contaminated with up to 3.7% of moisture. Hope that was helpful. If it was, give us a thumbs up. Any suggestions on future content, please leave a comment below. We will be checking it. Thanks for watching.